Hello everyone, welcome to prevent a solution given this nice algebra problem, which is x plus 8 raised to the power 3, this is equal to 64. So what is the value of x? Solution, okay, so x plus 8 raised to the power 3, this is actually equal to 64, okay? So let's take 64 on the left hand side, so that we'll have x plus 8 to the power 3, subtract 64 this is equal to to zero okay so we can express 64 basically as 4 to power 3 okay so we'll have x plus 8 this to power 3 subtract 4 to power 3 this is equal to to zero all right now actually x plus 8 to power 3 minus 4 cubed this is actually the difference of cubes express as 8 to power 3 minus b to power 3, which you can express as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Applying this identity, that means that in this case, a is equal to x plus 8 and b is equal to 4, okay? So you'll have x plus 8, okay? Subtract 4. Then we'll have x plus 8 squared, okay, plus 4 multiplied by x plus 8, then plus 4 squared, which is actually equal to 16. This is equal to, to 0. Now from what we have here, this is x plus 4, okay, 8 minus 4, this is 4, and then x plus 8 squared, okay, this is the same thing as x squared plus 16x plus 8 squared, which is actually 64, plus 4 times x, which is basically 4x, plus 4 times 8, which is basically 32, plus 16. This is equal to 0. Okay, so let's proceed. Basically here, we have two parts. The first part is x plus 4. This is equal to 0. Okay. And the second part here, this is x to power 2 plus 16x plus 4x. This is actually 20x plus 64 plus 32. This is 96 plus 16. This is actually 112. This is equal to 0. Okay. So from the first part, you can call this one x1. This is equal to negative 4, okay? So now, this is the first solution. Let's determine the other solution here from the quadratic equation, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 20, and c is equal to 112, okay? So let's proceed. So determining the discriminant value, which is actually b squared subtract 4 is c, we need to determine the nature of the root of this quadratic equation. That is the discriminant values b squared minus 4 is c. So here we'll have 20 squared subtract 4 times 1 times c, which is 112. So this is basically 400 subtract 112 times 4. This is basically 448, okay? And this is equal to negative 48, which is less than, than 0. And that indicates that we have two complex roots. We have two complex roots. We have two complex roots, okay? So let's solve for these two complex roots. That is x2 and x3, which we can apply the quadratic formula. That is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c divided by, by 2a. And that means that substituting the value of a, b, and c, this is actually uh, equal to negative 20 plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay? So in this case, we have negative 20 plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. This is negative 48. So substitute negative 48 divided by 2, okay? So here, we'll have negative 20 
plus or minus, we can express negative 48 as 16 multiplied by 3 multiplied by negative 1, all this divided by 2. Okay, so let's proceed. So negative 48 can be expressed as 16 times 3 times negative 1. So that means this is negative 20 plus or minus square root of 16, this is 4. Okay, square root of 3. And square root of negative 1, this is i, divided by 2. So here, if we simplify, we'll have negative 10 plus or minus 4i square root of 3. So that means that we have x2, this is equal to negative 10 plus 4i square root of 3. And we have x3 as negative 10, subtract 4i square root of 3. So these are two complex roots, okay? And that means that we have three solutions for algebra problem, okay? With only one leaf solution, that is x1, which is basically equal to negative 4, okay? So you can also verify if this real solution satisfies the equation. If you recall, if you recall, we end x plus 8 to power 3. This basically is supposed to give us a value of um, 64. So here we have negative 4 plus 8 to power 3. This should give us a value of 64. So this is negative 4 plus 8. So this is negative 4. Okay. Uh, negative 4 plus 8, this is 4 cubed. This is supposed to give us 64. And it's true, this is 64. So that means that we have three solutions for our algebra problem. So follow the steps, like this video, and more importantly, subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.